Good morning, guys. Or good afternoon, should I say. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. It's... Uh, ra, 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 where are we? Wednesday? No. Thursday. Can't even remember what day it is. Um, I haven't been around for a while, guys. I've been uh, working my me, uh, me old uh, cods off quite, uh, quite hard. Um because my contract was coming to an end, it's now finished um, and hopefully I can get back onto uh, back onto Tube and with you guys again um, give you an idea guys, this is a project I've been meaning to do for a while um, what we've got is we've got uh, 12 volt marine cigarette lighter, goes in the casing there um, two 5 volt, uh, 1 amp and one, uh, 2.1 amp um, sockets, um, a toolbox, I was going to build this in an ammo tin, uh, an on and off switch, a press button test and a voltmeter. Um, you've probably seen them on tube, what I'm going to be building is a battery backup. There is a full set of uh, 12, that's four 12 volt uh, UPS batteries, um, which are rated for a, a UPS. Didn't even give it a thought about keeping it and building the whole thing in there. I just stripped it, scrapped it, wife on the case about getting rid of some mess, usual thing. Um, Apologise for the video, guys. Filming this on my phone. As my wife has tucked my video camera somewhere safe. Can we find it? No. So there we go. Right. Um, I'm going to remove this. Remove these. Ooh. This is going to go probably here somewhere. With an on and off switch. And then this side is going to be the, the lighter sockets. I was going to build the whole lot inside the box uh, and put a false lid here um, but I'm not going to at the moment um, I'm just literally going to put it uh, these slide out so where are we so they slide out and I'm going to uh, drop them in there um, I have got an MPPT charger, uh, solar controller on the way. Uh, that's going to be fitted in here. I haven't really decided how, where or when. Um, the idea is uh, I'll get into a later video of what's been going on. Um, but to give you an idea, um, I've got a solar panel fitted. Um, 100 60 watt solar panel and I'm going to be using that to charge these uh, for when I have my nights away and uh, such likes and basically an emergency power supply I've got uh, LED lights to, to um, hook up to this uh, where I live um, is out of the town and with the winter coming up we tend to get possibly one or two power cuts um, in the winter um, and it's it, they're not generally just for 10 20 minutes they're generally to three to four hours I've never known it be more well say I don't know how long it's been uh, last year it was about 10 o'clock uh, I suppose the the power went off about eight sat there with a candle going and basically using the iPad on um, on Wi-Fi watching bits and pieces, went to bed about 10 o'clock, got up in the morning, power was back on, don't know how long it was off, but one of my neighbours said it was about 6-7 hours, so just just to give me a bit of power, a bit of light, a charge a phone, uh, that sort of stuff, but it's, it's you know, as, as we all know here in the UK, we're not uh, prepper minded as in uh, the, uh, you Americans, you sort of you know, you seem to suffer a hell of a lot more than us. 
but um, I've decided to to carry on with my little my minimal prep. So, um, with as I've got no tripod at the moment to hold this in, I'm going to power you off. Uh, I'm going to get some holes in here and in there, and that's where my gear is going to run. And then I'll just I'll get it sorted, and I'll bring you back shortly. Guys. Cheers, guys. Got that in sorted and I just got the hole in there with, with a good old standy blade so I'm not advertising standy by the way <coughs> good mate of mine <laughs> so yeah so that's now where the panel is going to go I've got to put a hole in here somewhere for the test button um, and then I've got to stick an on and off switch where am I going to put the on off switch I'll switch there. I should put it there. Hmm, don't know where to put it. Could put it under there if I'd have had space, but it's too big. So, could actually put it there. Just don't want it getting knocked on, that's all. So, uh, I'll have to figure it out. So, there we go, guys. Nearly there. Back shortly. Right guys, back again, as you can see, on off switch, and that's my test button, so it's literally just a press button, so when you press that in, what should happen is it should light up and tell me how many volts that the power pack's got, um, haven't wired it yet, uh, just that particular wire there, which was already done, I played around just to test the thing, just to make sure it was okay before I put it in, um, put these on. Uh, this one here is the power this is the load and this is the ground and the idea of that is this light on top will tell me when the power pack is on so that's what I've got in mind all I've got to do now is clear the crud out of there um, what I'll do is I'll get it done um, and then I'll uh, show you once it's finished right guys start with the wiring mains in this is positive into the switch then once the switch is switched on it then comes out and goes off to these two panels i haven't finished it yet uh, while i was doing this just had a tap on the door and oh yeah what's arrived my mppt charge controller for my solar panel actual fact it's a lot bigger than I was expecting um, it's a lot bigger than the one I've got already um, but uh, oh, let's get it out because you're not on a tripod I'm struggling a bit um, Okay, um, not too sure what's what, I'll have to uh, have a play around with it, but uh, it will actually go across there like that, mind you, probably won't get the lid closed, in a fraction, no, won't get the lid closed. So uh, we'll be fitting it somehow, um, not too sure, might even just fit it to a charge unit because then at least if it's on a charge unit I can charge the car panel as well, the car battery uh, for when I leave the vehicle for long periods. But just sort of let you know guys, there we go, sorted, I shall come back to you shortly. There we go guys, all wired. So the earth comes up, goes to the earth side of both sockets, and then the other earth comes off to this switch. The main reason it needs that earth is because on the other side of the switch is a light, and it needs to obviously power the light, that's purely all it's for, because the main on and off is these two here. So, battery in, in, across there, and on the positive for them. 
the little test switch is in to the panel and earthed into here all I've got to do is run a little positive to the main positive on there and then that's it completed that's all I've got to do and then stick the batteries in and we'll run a test on it okay guys back in a minute yet again right guys I'm now shut the old box up as you can see um, I didn't screw this in because uh, obviously I have nails hanging out the other side cigarette lighter not that I smoke and I don't use it uh, 5 volt 1 amp 5 volt 2.1 amps on off switch switch is on see the light works got power here now uh, need to check the voltage as I say this is not on constantly I don't want it on constantly guys this is purely a press button 2.52 volts they're uh, 12.52 volts, what a pleb. Um, so there we go. Um, on the inside, looks a mess, I know. I've got to tidy these up. Um, I'll get round to it, probably a bit of hot glue, which is always good for these things, not gonna overdo it. Uh, these are, um, Uh, solar panel PV solar panel uh, plugs so the idea was to hook that up so that I can charge it on a solar panel um, what my intent is is to have another plug here for charging um, to put a vent in the side because you shouldn't be charging batteries in an enclosed space not that you could really class this as enclosed um, because obviously it's not sealed it's not got a rubber seal around the edge um, but obviously in a confined space so I will be putting a computer fan in there and obviously once it's up and running and the charge going in the charge controller has a 12 volt load unit so once it's charging um, I shall have the fan hooked up so that it'll run as soon as it's charging uh, just to take the low cool air in there and such likes um, but yeah so there we go guys all sorted ready to rock and roll I'll tell you wife's in for a shock I'll tell her that's her new portable pack for taking when she goes abroad to work for charging her phone god you'd love to be there when I tell her that yeah so there we go there we go the button go and obviously this is obviously you see the light now this is where the earth and the comes on and off and yet again so there we go guys my long-awaited power pack that I've been meaning to do ever since I got them batteries and ever since I got them batteries and it sounds like the postman's back um, with that guys I'm going to uh, slide off catch you guys later Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. I appreciate that. Thanks for your help.